Hi Chris, thanks for sending your question. It looks like today we're going to be solving question number 74, which is the indefinite integral of e to the x over e to the x plus 1 with respect to x. Whenever, uh, when I started first learning calculus and I was solving indefinite integrals, I always used to put a plus c next to the integral so I didn't forget to add that constant of integration at the end. So this is an integral that's easiest to solve using methods of substitution. And our choices for substitution in this particular integral are either the numerator or the denominator. You can actually use either in this case, but it's gonna be easiest if we use the denominator. So I'm gonna set u equal to e to the x plus 1. Now, we need to take into consideration dx in this case. So I'm going to differentiate both sides. du is equal to the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. The derivative of 1 just goes to 0. And then we need to notate that we've taken the derivative with respect to x. If you want to, over on the side, you can actually solve for dx, and we substitute that in our original function in our integrand. So we can put everything in terms of u before we start to solve this. So I'm going to say du over e to the x is equal to dx. And then I can say that my original function and my original differential, e to the x over e to the x plus 1 dx is equal to substituting my new value for dx in, that becomes e to the x over e to the x plus 1 du over e to the x. These will cancel, and that becomes du over e to the x plus 1. Fortunately, we substituted, we, we defined u as e to the x plus 1. So this is all equal to 1 over u du. So now that we have everything in terms of u, we're now ready to start solving the indefinite integral. So we can say that this whole integral is equal to the indefinite integral of 1 over u du, which then becomes a pretty easy integral to solve. That becomes ln of the absolute value of u plus c. Don't forget the plus c. Putting everything back in terms of x, since we define u as e to the x plus 1, this becomes ln of the absolute value of e to the x plus 1 plus c. Fortunately, uh, e to the x is always greater than 0. So if you want, you can actually drop the absolute value in this case. It's up to you. And we can say this is equal to ln of e to the x plus 1 plus c and that will be your final answer. So I hope this helped. Thank you for using Snap Math, Chris, and I look forward to solving more of your questions with Snap Math in the future.